My name is Dr. Jonathan Kessler. I am a physicist and associate professor at Southeast Missouri State University, and I've been helping to plan the uh, Eclipse Expo that's going to be held here at the Show Me Center on uh, July 22nd. So for starters, if you're sitting in one position on the Earth, the solar eclipse is a pretty rare event. It may not seem like it here in Cape Girardeau because we're home of one of the very select few locations in the United States that are going to have two solar eclipses, total solar eclipses within seven years of each other. So it's really a special event, I think, to celebrate in the sense that uh, they're, they're so extraordinarily rare. When a solar eclipse does occur, a lot of times they occur over the ocean. And so people don't get to observe it. Cape Girardeau is going to sit sort of on the X between the 2017 total solar eclipse and the eclipse that's going to be uh, held on uh, April 8th, 2024. Um, we also are really lucky to get to participate and observe a partial solar eclipse in October 14th, 2023. So on Friday night, we're going to have a panel discussion that's going to be held at the Southeast Missouri State University University Center. I think it's going to be in ballroom on the fourth floor of the University Center. We have plenty of capacity, so hopefully people come out. Uh, one of our uh, main speakers in the panel is going to be Fred Espinak, who's Mr. Eclipse himself. He's going to be full of knowledgeable information about eclipses. Uh, we're also going to have people to talk a little bit about local things that you might worry about and your children, making sure that they are safe during the eclipse and not looking directly at the sun during the eclipse and those sorts of things as well as just general city and our state planning for the eclipse. So it'd be a really great and educational uh, uh, event to attend. And that's gonna be Friday night on the 21st at six. And uh, afterwards, the Department of Chemistry and Physics at Southeast Missouri State is gonna host a little uh, night sky observing. That'll start as soon as that event's over. And that's gonna be held in the parking lot and quad behind uh, Rhodes Hall and uh, next to the Johnson Hall and Polytechnic building there at Southeast Missouri State. Yeah, so Saturday, July 22nd, we're gonna be here at the Show Me Center. Doors are gonna open at 10 o'clock and uh, we're gonna have some events for the children, some events for adults. We're gonna have uh, a handout bag at the beginning. It's gonna include some uh, free solar viewing glasses uh, for people to so make sure that they're safe when viewing the eclipse. I think a lot of people are gonna be talking about where might be good locations to view the eclipses in October and April, 2024. But we're also gonna have that activity center. We're gonna have Southern Illinois University Carbondale is gonna bring over a blow up planetarium. So the children will be able to check that out. We're gonna have, I know, some flight simulators from CMO's aviation program and a lot of other cool activities that are sort of hands-on for the children. And then we're also gonna have a long list of speakers. We have two different speaker centers that are gonna be running all day till about five o'clock. And again, we're gonna have our headliner, Fred Espinak, but we're also gonna have several other speakers talk about a lot of different topics. Uh, people can look up that schedule online at semoeclipseexpo.org and we'll also hand out a schedule of speakers when people arrive at the door as well. Tickets are gonna be free as long as you get them in advance before you show up. You can order those through the SEMO uh, eclipseexpo.org website. Um, the ticketing is gonna be done through brown paper tickets, so don't be surprised if you get redirected. Get your tickets early. You know, I think you can order up to 10 online, so if you have friends or family that you wanna bring, go ahead and order a couple extras.